Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about the properties of kite. A kite is a quadrilateral in which exactly one diagonal is the perpendicular bisector of the other diagonal. It has also two pairs of consecutive congruent sides but opposite sides are not congruent. So, hindi ito kagaya ng parallelograms na yung opposite sides are congruent. Sa kite, the congruent side are consecutive. So, for example, meron tayong kite ABCD. So, si side AB is congruent sa kay side BC kasi they are con uh, consecutive sides. And then, yung side AD naman is congruent to side CD. And also, sabi ko nga kanina, si side AB and side BC, also side AD and side CD, are two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. So, what are the properties of kite? First, the diagonal are perpendicular. So, alam natin na kapag uh, perpendicular, so, form tayo ng right angle. And then, exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. So, dito sa kite, so, may isang pair lang ng opposite angles are congruent. Hindi kagaya sa parallelogram na dalawa. So, again, exactly one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Next, a diagonal bisects each other of the no, uh, no congruent angles and the other diagonal. And last, uh, to find the area of a kite, that is one half the product of uh, the value of two diagonals. Okay, so the value of the first diagonal times the second diagonal, get the one half, that is the area of a kite. So, for example, meron tayong kite JKLM. Okay, so, ano yung mga diagonals natin dito? So, yung diagonals natin dyan, that KM, so, yung KM natin is perpendicular to JL. And then, what are the opposite congruent angles? So, ano yung opposite congruent angles dito? That is angle JKL. So, ito class, angle JKL is congruent to J, uh, angle JML. Or pwede naman na gumamit kayo ng isang letter lang. Ang, uh, angle K is congruent to angle M. And then, the non-congruent angles, so yung, ano yung non-congruent angles natin dyan? That is angle KJM, okay, is not congruent to angle KLM. So, itong angle na to, yung nandito. So, ibig sabihin, hindi sila equal. Diagonal JL, so si diagonal JL, by sec angle KJM, saan yung angle KJM natin? So, angle KJM and then angle KLM. So, anong ibig sabihin niyan? So, once na yung diagonal natin, binisect natin tong angle na to, saka yung angle na to, ibig sabihin that angle KLJ, so itong angle na to is congruent to angle MLJ. So, ibig sabihin class, yung value nito ay equal sa value na to. At ganoon din sa kabila. So, angle K, J, L is congruent to angle M, J, L. Okay. And also, diagonal J, L. So, yung diagonal J, L natin also by sex, diagonal K, M. So, kapag binisect nyo yung diagonal K, M natin, yung line segment natin na K, N is congruent to M, N. So, ibig sabihin, yung value nito ay equal sa value nito. Or yung measure nito ay equal sa measure nito. Okay, for example, number one. So, meron tayong kite A, B, C, D dito na merong given. No? Where side A, D is 20 cm. And then, the perimeter of the kite is 56 cm. And the measure of angle A, D, C. So, angle A, D, C is equal to 50 degree. So, ibig sabihin itong angle na to ay 50 degree. So, hahanapin natin yung value ng X, Y, Z, and W. So, first is yung X. So, makukuha natin agad yung X. So, 
isa sa mga property ng kite, diagonals are perpendicular. So, kapag perpendicular, makaform tayo ng right angle. So, since ito, yung x nandito, so therefore, yung x natin is equal to 90 degrees. Another, yung y. So, since ang side nito, okay, consecutive sides, yung AD natin, saka CD are consecutive sides and they, uh, saka congruent sila. Diba? Sa kahit kasi, kung ano yung consecutive sides, sila yung congruent. So, therefore, kung ang AD natin ay 20 cm, so, yung CD din natin ay 20 cm. And, to find the value of uh, W natin, itong angle W natin, so, alam natin na kapag itong diagonal na to, binisect niya yung angle ng angle B saka yung angle D. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle na to ay congruent sa angle na to. Since ang sukat ni angle D or ni angle ADC ay 50 degrees, so, ibig sabihin, si angle W saka itong angle na to, uh, dapat same sila ng value, di ba? So, i-divide lang natin sa 2. So, therefore, yung uh, sagot natin sa W is 25 degrees. So, ibig sabihin itong sa kabila, 25 degrees din. And then, to find the uh, Z, so, yung Z, hanapin natin. Since hindi natin alam yung value nito, okay, wala, hindi, pa, hindi agad natin makukuha yung Z natin, itong side AB natin, o yung Z natin, kasi wala tayong uh, given sa BC. Pero, may binigay na perim, uh, value ng perimeter which is 56 cm. So, kung ito, nakuha na natin kanina, yung AD natin is 20 cm. So, yung CD din natin ay 20 cm or yung Y natin is 20 cm din. So, ibig sabihin, meron na tayong 40 cm. So, yung 40 cm, uh, ibawas natin doon kay 56. So, ilan ang maiwan? That is... 16. So, ibig sabihin, uh, yun yung sukat ni AB sa KBC. So, hati sila doon. So, using this equation, makukuha rin din natin, gamit yung equation na to, makukuha rin natin yung value ng Z. So, paano? So, so alam natin yung value, yung given natin na perimeter is 56 and uh, is equal to 2Z plus 2 times 20. So, yung Y kasi natin is 20. Alright, so gamit yung equation, pwede rin natin makuha yung uh, value ng Z natin. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng perimeter natin, which is 56. And then, yung value ng Y natin, so that is 2 times 20. So, that is equal to 40. So, since... Uh, Ang kinukuha natin is yung value ng Z. So, i-combine natin. Lipat natin yung 40 sa left side. So, 56 minus 40, that is 16. And 16 divide 2, uh, that is 8. So, ibig sabihin, yung side AB natin is 8 cm at yung side BC natin ay 8 cm din. Okay, another example. Okay, using the given in the right side, kite in the accompanying figure is a kite where O is the point of intersection of KT, okay, and EI. So, if KE is equal to 13 and EO is equal to 5 and IT is equal to 5 square root of 10. So, find the measure of the following. So, first is the angle K. OI. So, ito yung angle KOI. So, ito. So, alam natin na perpendicular, no? Yung ano natin, diagonal. So, therefore, yung angle KOI natin is equal to 90 degrees. How about uh, number 2, the side KO? So, yung side KO natin is 12 cm kasi nakalagay naman na sa figure. And number 3 is yung OI. Okay, ito yung OI natin. So, alam natin na kapag binisect nung KT natin si EI, so itong line segment na to ay equal sa line segment na to. So, therefore, kung ang 
EO natin is 5, yung OI din natin is 5. Okay? So, next is yung value ng EI. Okay? EI is the sum of uh, EO plus OI. So, since pare silang 5, so 5 plus 5, that is 10. Next, KI. So, itong side na to, KI. So, alam natin na yung KI ay congruent kay KE. So, ibig sabihin, equal sila. So, kung ang KE natin is 13, so yung KI natin ay 13 din. Next, yung ET. Okay, yung... So, kung ang IT natin is 5 square root of 10, and yung IT natin is congruent sa side ET, so, ibig sabihin, equal ang uh, ET natin kay IT. So, therefore, yung... ET natin ay 5 square root of 10 din. And also, the area of the kite. So, yung area of the kite, kanina, binigay yung formula, no? that is 1 half times the quantity of D sub 1 times D sub 2. So, ngayon class, uh, si, yung D sub 1 natin, okay, sige, pakita natin. Alam natin na yung EI natin is 10. So, itong diagonal na to ay 10. Yung KT natin, that is the sum of KO plus OT. Ang problema natin ngayon, yung OT ngayon ay wala pa, hindi natin alam kung ano yung sukat nito. Tama? Wala tayong idea kung ano yung value niya. Pero, binigay naman, meron tayong KO which is 12. Since itong triangle na to class is a right triangle, so, again, so, itong triangle na to is a right, tri uh, right triangle. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin makuha itong side na to, okay? Itong side na to using the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay? So, using the Pythagorean Theorem, which is the, uh, let's say, itong ET natin, represent natin as the C squared, is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, Yan yung formula ng Pythagorean Theorem natin, di ba? So, kung kukunin natin yung side OT natin, so, ibig sabihin that is OT squared is equal to, okay, ito kasi yung hypotenuse natin eh, di ba? So, kapag given kasi yung hypotenuse natin, is subtract natin. Pero kapag ang hinahanap is yung hypotenuse natin, add natin yung uh, dalawang side. Okay? So, kung since itong hinahanap natin, itong side na to, hindi naman ito yung hypotenuse. So, ibig sabihin, isa-subtract natin. Yung uh, value ng ET natin, isa-subtract natin sa squared ni EO. So, substitute lang class. That is, yung ET natin is 5 square root of 10 squared minus 5 squared. Okay, kapag nag-squared tayo nito, so anong mangyayari? So, napagdaanan natin dun sa topic about radicals. So, 5 squared, that is 25. So, ito, mawawala na. Okay? Maka-cancel na natin to And that is 25 times 10 na. Okay? So, that 25 times 10, that is 250 minus 5 squared, that is 25. So, 250 minus 25, the answer is 225. So, pwede natin i-extract to, no? Squaring both sides. So, that is OT is equal to square root of 225. Okay? So, square root of 225 is 15. So, ibig sabihin class, yung sukat ni OT is 15. Eh, since uh, sa area, sa formula natin, is yung buong sukat ni KT. So, what is the um, measure of KT, diagonal KT. So, that is 12 plus 15. That is 27. So, ngayon, makukompute na natin yung kite. Balikan natin yung formula. So, that is 1 half times yung D sub 1 natin, which is EI, and that is 10, times yung D sub 2 natin, that, yung diagonal KT natin, yun yung 27. So, 10 times 27 that is 270 divide 2. The answer is 
135 square unit. So, ibig sabihin, yung area of the kite is equal to 135 square unit. Another example with the same figure, yung ka, uh, dun sa previous slide natin, same lang yung figure na gagamitin natin, pero magkaiba lang yung given. So, dito sa kite na to, so if the measure of angle KET, so saan yung angle KET natin? So, angle KET, so itong angle down na to is 100. So, yung sukat ni angle KET is 100. And then, yung measure ng angle T natin is 62. Okay? The measure of angle T natin is 62. So, itong, ito ay 62. And then, the measure of angle EKT, so itong angle na to, is equal to 49. So, find the measure of the following. First is the measure of angle EKT. Since given siya, so that is 49. So, ibig sabihin ito ay 49. So, kung ako sa inyo class, kukunin nyo muna lahat ng mga angle para masagutan yung kung ano man yung hinahanap. Mas mabilis yun, no? So, the measure of angle EKT is 49. So, wala tayong problema doon kasi given siya. Next, how about the measure of angle? So, the measure of angle T, K, I. So, again, the measure of angle T, KI. So, itong angle na to. So, kanina, ang, ang, ang sukat ng angle na to is 49. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 49 din. Since, alam natin na one of the property na yung diagonal by sex, it's of the no congruent angles in the other diagonal. So, ibig sabihin, yung uh, measure ng angle na to, saka yung measure ng angle na to, they are congruent. Okay? So, kaya 49 din yung ang angle na to. So, 49. Next, the measure of angle EKI. So, measure of angle EKI. So, ito, yung buong ito. So, kung ito ay 49, tapos ito ay 49, so, add lang natin yun. So, 49 plus 49, that is 98. So, ibig sabihin, yung measure ni angle EKI is 98. Next, how about the measure of angle EIK? Okay, so ito, itong hinahanap natin. So, paano natin ito kukunin? The measure of angle EIK. So, alam natin, ng isang triangle, ang buong sukat ng isang triangle ay 180. So, paano natin makukuha yung angle na ito? So, kanina, ang measure ng angle na ito is 49. So, ang angle na to class is 90 degree. Kasi nga, diba, the diagonal are perpendicular. So, makakaform tayo ng right angle dito. And that is 90 degrees. So, therefore, kung ito ay 90 at saka ito ay 49, so, ano yung sukat nito? Na, alam natin na yung isang triangle ay 180. So, para mas mabilis nyo makuha ito, add nyo muna itong dalawa. So, 90 plus 49, that is 139. So, Sa kanya i-minus from 180. So, 180 minus 139, the answer is 40, uh, 41. Okay, tama. 41. So, kapag in natin, 90 plus 49 plus 41, that is 180. So, again, yung measure ni angle EIK, that is 41. Next, how about the measure of angle IITK? So, itong angle na itong hinahanap. The measure of angle I, T, K. So, ano yung sukat nito? Itong lang. So, sa given natin, the measure of angle T is 62. So, ibig sabihin, yung buong angle na to is 62. Since yung kabila lang hinahanap natin, itong angle lang na to, so kalahati ng 62. Okay, so, 62 divided to that is... 31. So, ibig sabihin 31 ito, ito ay 31 din. Next, the measure of angle K, angle KOE. So, itong angle na to. So, angle KOE. So, alam natin na yung diagonal natin are perpendicular to each other. So, it, makaform tayo ng right angle. So, this is 90 degree. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung sukat ni angle KOE is 90 degrees. So, that is 90. Next. How about the measure of angle T, 
TOI, the measure of angle TOI. So, uh, same uh, concept, no? Dahil perpendicular nga, yung kite natin, yung diagonal are perpendicular, so ito ay 90 din. So, the measure of angle TOI is 90 degrees. Okay, how about this one? The measure of angle E plus the measure of angle K plus the measure of angle I plus the measure of angle T. So, yung angle E natin kanina, so given to, this is 100. And then, yung angle K natin, nakuha na natin kanina, ito ay 98. Since itong angle na to, congruent sa angle na to, oh, ibig sabihin, 100 din yung angle I. So, meron na tayong 100 plus 98 plus 100. Eh, given yung angle T natin, and that is 62. So, add lang natin yon So, 100 plus 98 plus 100 plus 62. The answer is 360. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.